After 11 consecutive losses and an eight-game stretch of defeats by at least 14 points, the Indiana Hoosiers finally broke through for an 88-80 overtime victory over Northwestern Saturday afternoon. It feels great. It feels great for them. I'd be lying to say it doesn't feel great for me. It's, uh, the, the, the bottom line is this team walks in here every day. I would put their effort in practice and their desire to get better with any of the teams that I have coached. It feels good. It feels like a lot of weight is off our shoulders now. I mean, we've been playing real well in practices lately, so you know, it feels good to finally play hard and, and, and be rewarded for it. It, it feels real good for uh, someone besides the practice players and people who are in practice to see what you know what we're doing at practice every day. I mean, it's good to see the, for the fans to see how hard we actually work and, and this, you know, to see something come out of it finally. While it was senior night at Assembly Hall, the Hoosier freshman made the difference. Christian Watford recorded his first double-double since January. Derek Elston scored a career-high 17. And Bloomington native Jordan Halls led all scorers with 24 points on eight three-pointers. I mean, if my shot felt good, but uh, usually it feels good, and sometimes it just doesn't fall, you know. But um, it, it, I didn't know. You can't really predict what's going to happen. But like I said, my shot was feeling good, and I was able to get open shots uh, created by Verdell and my other teammates. Uh, Jordy shoots like that against me in big games. I've never <laughs> seen him shoot like that. So, but I mean, for him to come out there and hit eight of them, you know, and to almost have the record for nine, it's ridiculous. Jordan can shoot that way any day, any time, running off the bus, rolling out of bed. He shoots that ball unbelievably well. And I was really glad that he took the opportunity he had. And, you know, we, we knew he was feeling it, so we were getting him the ball. At the end of regulation and through most of overtime, Indiana's lineup featured four freshmen and one sophomore. Now while this young Hoosier team has certainly shown growing pains in the past, it appears as if they are finally starting to mature. They played like they had been through a lot, and I think that, that, was, that was really great for them to get that victory, for this victory and uh, you know, proud of the way that they played. A lot in the beginning of the season, you know, we didn't really know if, if uh, Coach really wanted us out there. And, uh, you know, we're just real happy to, to know that we can step up and, and uh, be go-to guys now for Coach when he needs us. Age doesn't really matter anymore, you know. We're so far in the season and um, we got a lot of experience. Indiana finishes the regular season with a 10-20 and overall record, including a 4-14 and Big Ten mark. From Assembly Hall, I'm Casey Richards for Palestra.net, the College Network.